Ladies and gentlemen, may I direct your attention to something quite extraordinary, quite incredible, quite unlike anything you may have experienced in your life. Yo, 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 welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Takeover Show. I'm your host, Misa, and as always, owner of Ducci's and Next Gen Sports. Please give it up for our boy, Cha 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 Chui. What up, guys? Welcome back. I hope everyone has a good weekend. Ready mm-hmm. to vibe this new week. Mm-hmm. Dude, real quick, man, you're growing out your, your beard, huh? Little, yeah. Miralon, either you're getting chunkier or that shit's growing out thick, dude. You're gonna be you're gonna be looking good. I hope, I hope. Yeah, it's it's gonna look good, dude. Anyways, guys, we got a very, very cool special guest. Um she does a lot. I don't even know where to start. She's on one oh four point three, she runs her social media, she's now also on air, she's a content creator, she's an influencer, and uh she's very funny, she's very fun. Please give it up for the one and only Miss Romy Hernandez. <laughs> I said it right. Yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, yes. my God. I was like, was that her last name, dude? Oh, my God. Imagine. Oh, my God. Anyways, welcome. Thank you, you so do. much. No, thank you so much for having your me. Time. It's a pleasure. I'm excited and nervous. Why? I mean, you're, you're on you're on the yeah, air know, all the time. You're a I, content creator. Como? I don't know. You've been on podcasts before. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. I yeah, have, she I had, had her own, own podcast yeah, and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. No reason to be. I don't fun. know. That, no. Same thing when we go on air. Sometimes I'm like, I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah, but it's all gay. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Um, guys, we want to give a, a big shout out to uh, our sponsor of this episode, our boy Angel over at Buena Vida, guys, down here at La Solana Shops, right? The Shops of La Solana. That, Formerly, we're American. So. That's how it is. Yeah, yeah. Or other, Solana. otherwise known as a, uh, I'm selling Park Mall. Yes. Um, yes, guys, there is people still here. The stores are still open. Surprisingly. Um, yeah, you might even be hearing some kids yelling out in the background, dude. You never know. Hey, but just come through. If, you, yeah. if you're looking for CBD for yourself or for your dogs or anything, just come hit up Buena Vida. And Did you know that? Did you know you can get CBD for your dogs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to get my little dog some CBD because she gets really anxious, especially when it rains. It's crazy, huh? She's, yeah, she's my little anxious baby. So oh. she reacts crazy to thunder, I'm guessing. Yeah, she shakes all the time. So I, I have bought her CBD dog treats before. It works, too. Yeah. Have you tried them yourself? Yeah. I yeah? Have, like, not the dog <laughs> no. treats. That's what I was, I was talking CBD. about, the dog <laughs> treats. <laughs> Hi, Misa. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyways, for those who might not know who you are, mm-hmm. kind of um, kind of tell us about yourself a little bit. Mm-hmm. What you do, what you don't do, um, how did it all start it? Let us know. ¿Qué pasa? How do I start? Like, I don't know. You were asking me earlier, like, how do I introduce you? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know either. I was looking at all the stuff that you do, and um, I didn't even know. Let, let's start off with, um, I guess you, you started off uh, creating content, right? Maybe yes. back in 2019, or how did that How did so that start? So, I actually started in 2016. Okay. I started off with my YouTube channel, February 2nd, 2016, <laughs> was my very first uh, YouTube video that went up. And it, I just, I don't know, I just, it's something that I always wanted to do. It took me years to get to actually filming. Um, because but it was, was always so something nervous. you wanted to do, like just but create. Was, yeah, but it was always something I wanted to do. So I started off with makeup. A lot of people might not know that. So really? I started off doing makeup and doing makeup looks and whatnot. And, and like, um, what is it called? Like hauls. And yeah, I just it kind of evolved. I was like, oh, I don't know about the makeup anymore. Like I'm kind of tired of it. And then all that work, having to put the makeup on, and then having to taking it off, and then going and then to like the a, store looking all crazy, <laughs> and then doing it daily. Like, this is not for me. <laughs> was this like a daily <laughs> post that you would do? Or? Yeah, I would post all the time. And sometimes if I didn't want to post like my face or my look, I would post like the makeup that I would buy. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, and I liked it. But then it evolved a little bit into what is now TikTok. So I started my TikTok in February of 2020. It was actually right before the pandemic. 
I had just gone, my husband and I, to uh, the Gary Vee convention that he had here at the Don Haskins. Mm. That's a tug. And all night he talked about TikTok and how you need to have it and you need to have it and you need to do it and you need to do it. So I was like, man, you know what? Just Whatever. Post, post, post. Let's get a TikTok. That same night I got a TikTok and uh, made my own post, my first post, and the pandemic hit and I, I just, oh, I love TikTok. I absolutely love TikTok. It really allows for my stupid creativity to come out. <laughs> Honestly, I spent <laughs> like hours going through all your videos just because they're entertaining and they're hilarious, man. You could relate you. to so many of these. Um, but was it was it when you started the TikTok? Was it just like the like the funny videos, or was it still back to makeup and then you no, transition? No, it was or? just funny videos. So I was like, man, how is this transition going to be? You know, how how are my followers at the time going to take this transition? But I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm going to post whatever I think is funny. Y si les gusta bien, y si no, pues... Yeah, yeah. You I fall. never liked makeup anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I know. So I just started posting whatever I felt was me. So that's why I like TikTok, because I felt like I could be more of myself. You know, with the makeup, right. it's kind of like, okay, well, nah, we're You're playing like a about. role, kind yeah, of. Like, like you, honestly, like yeah. The same thing over and over. Yes, yeah, so I was like, I'm just... Oh, I just love TikTok. I love it so much. In, in natural words, it's just like the pendejas are there, right? Yeah, yeah like it's just know. stupid stuff. Yeah. And Which one of these videos first kind of like hit off that um, started or went viral for you? I've actually had a, quite a bit, but I would have to say, oh, I don't even read on TikTok. Oh, it was down, like go down a little bit. It was that one that says on this day, the one where it's like the bedroom. <laughs> We're looking at the screen. Right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> oh, my bad. That one, that one originally that one had hit over a million views and it's just like when my clothes doesn't fit like when the pandemic hits and your clothes doesn't fit that and it's a selena funny. song no me yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Go for it. yeah yeah i had it i had it so they could hear it is it even are you even connected are we good um it should be connected. it's okay for for those that if you could look in this camera right here right in front of you can you let everybody that's watching and listening know where they could find you where they can find all these funny videos. Yeah, so they can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's the same, but my handles are at Romy Aide, R-O-M-Y-A-Y-D-E. You can follow my nonsense on there. My random content, it's literally, my content is all over the place. It really is. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I like it. I used to actually try to make a few of those, and some of them did kind of hit a little bit. But um, I just found it, like... I found it um, a little hard to record, especially if, like my wife's around or like my kids, you know, and they'd be like, what the hell is this guy doing? You know, like, and then like, I, it'd be like a voiceover of some, like some other sound or uh -huh. somebody else talking. So <laughs> I'd be like, just like mouthing the whole thing. <laughs> so they should see me stand there in front of the camera, like. <laughs> that's it's how like, it what is the hell but is wrong with dad <laughs> are you all right but no i, I mean it, some of them came out good i thought i thought i mean dude some of these some of these are so funny they what go hard like. what makes you come up with these or how hard is it for you to come up with these is it you find the sound first or you like you get an idea mm -hmm. or? sometimes yeah sometimes i'll find the sound and i'm like oh what could i relate that to you know yeah and then i'm like okay fine i think i i think i got it so sometimes it, i don't know social media is just a hit or miss like People either like it or they You know don't. what? Yeah, there's, I mean, like, one of them that, um, I, I guess, got the most views for me, um, I didn't even think it was going to hit. I didn't think it was nothing. <laughs> and there's some that I made that I was like, it took me, like, an hour to get perfect. <laughs> and I got, yeah. like, 10 views. <laughs> those know? are the ones. It's like, those are the ones that humble you. And I'm like, dude, I'm not made for this game. <laughs> those are the ones. Like, it's always the ones that you look the most, like, I'll just stick to the podcast, dude. Like, on Instagram, <laughs> my, my most viewed one on Instagram, I think now it's at 25 million and really? i'm like dang like really that's how you go and do me <laughs> <laughs> like i was wearing my house shirt like come on 25, 25. million people saw that <laughs> saw you like that <laughs> crazy. Oh, oh, man. Man. Like, nah, pero está bien. i mean <laughs> shit fine. dude like i'll take those 25 million anytime dude right? with makeup on too <laughs> si quieren. and i was gonna ask you your phone's always blowing up i'm guessing huh? yeah, yeah so recently i've had quite a few go virals <laughs> like pretty much all the recent ones, I think there's some that have like a couple, like 10 million. There's actually Insane. like three of them. Yeah, it's all. It's so all how does how does it work? Do you end up having to like silence your phone? Oh yeah, I have my notifications off. Yes, yeah. 
I have to if not just going off all day. I mean, would it be hard if for somebody like a business thing for somebody to kind of like reach out? I'm sure like you've you probably gotten people to reach out mm -hmm. to collaborate or sometimes yes. you miss it just because it's so many or how does I that do. work yes actually yes i've had a few people message me and i'm like uh i'll see it like a month later and i'm like uh, mm, no. <laughs> um you were actually also invited to um what was it like a ceremony for influencers or something like that oh yeah with me too me too right yeah we are me too what what was that how that was, was that so experience and where was it uh, or or how did you even get invited? How does that happen? I don't even know. <laughs> he's, like, he's just woke up and is like, wait, I need I to go. I woke up and I saw the email and I was like, wait a minute. Is this correct? I'm there. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. No, yeah, I, I don't even know. Even know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, dude, I'm not uh -huh. supposed to be here, guys. Uh -huh. But I'm on I don't the know list. how they found me online. Like, but that's me, pretty cool. Me from El Paso? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, you, you it's one, of, on one of those you know? 25 yeah. million viewers. I was like, we need to get her. Yeah, it really was. So it was crazy. So that that one, I, I literally woke up one night, one morning, I'm sorry, looked at my email. And it's like, hey, Romy, we would like to invite you to the We Are Mitu. It was their 10th anniversary. It was the Mito Diaz Madre. And I was like, what? Like, this has to be a joke. It has <laughs> to. Like, someone's messing with me. Like, seriously. So I, before I answer, I go to my Instagram, I, I look it up, I see who the owner is or the main top person, and she's following me. And I'm like, holy shit, like, since when has she been following me? Yeah, 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 yeah. What <laughs> kind of stupid shit have I posted? <laughs> I, seriously, like, what kind of dumb shit have I, put, have I posted, like, these last couple months? And I sent my email, my response, and I, it was out in L.A., so it's an L.A.-based uh, media company. And so I flew out there, and it was it was so much fun. Oh my god, it was the best thing ever. Yeah. Yes, you do it again. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally. I mean, oh. obviously, a lot of other influencers and stuff. Any some any anybody you were kind of like uh, starstruck about or? Um. Well, I did meet a few influencers. I did make some friends out there, and I met um. Hi, what's his name? Sando. He's on TikTok. He's always trending. He's like always dancing, and he like throws himself on the floor and stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen him. Um, he was there, so he was super sweet, very nice. Um, we took pictures together, and who else? Oh man, off the top of my head. Chuy, we need to find something, dude. We need to find something to get invited to something like I that, know. bro. Me too. That'd I'm trying to do cool, it again. Huh? Let's start with makeup, no? <laughs> Fuck makeup it. on Chuy. Ah, <laughs> cabrón. <laughs> I'll do your makeup, dude. That that'd be our videos Why not? daily. <laughs> That'll go I'm viral. sure people would watch. <laughs> no gracias. They'll, part, they'll, they'll probably ask us to do their makeup, too. Mm. Yeah, And then after mm. that, You're no next. more podcasting because I'd be too busy yep. on that makeup. World-renowned yeah. makeup artist. <laughs> so um, we were talking earlier. You also actually had a, um, a podcast. Yeah. A Cafecito with Romy. Yeah. It was a talk show. Yeah. yeah. Long gone. Well, yeah, let's get into that because um, uh -oh. actually, when was it? A few years ago when uh, when I was trying to find some some research to do on Johnny Cage before we ever had him on. Um, I saw that show and I saw that episode with him. Oh, I'm sorry. I muted oh, I you. Oh, it's because I was telling you my deepest That's secrets weird. and I was you like, can't hey, hear? she can't. No, I, I can hear you, but I can't hear Misa. That's weird. How about oh, now? there you are. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Sorry. There we go, guys. Sorry. That's alarm. We're missing, we're actually missing our uh, sound guy. Uh, soundboard guy his name is kevin he's my little brother it's actually his birthday today oh happy birthday yeah he wanted to hang out but i'm like dude we got fucking work to do bro <laughs> Not that no he's with his girlfriend shout out to kevin happy Aww. birthday to kevin Having fun. happy birthday happy, happy birthday boy <laughs> but uh where were we guys where were um, we um you were saying about cafecito yeah yeah cafecito how did that start or how did you end up getting that gig and um why did it end what, what happened um, so for Cafecito, I it was a media company here in El Paso, and they had several shows. They had actually invited me to their shows twice. So they had a night show, and they had like actually no. Oh, that's right. They had a night show. They what had two it? night yeah. shows. Yes, they had two night shows, and they had invited me to them. And by the second time, they're like, "Romy, we kind of want to talk to you after the podcast." And I was like, <laughs> You're <laughs> "What did I do?" And they're like, no, well, we think you have a great personality. We kind of would want for you to have your own show. And I was like, what? My own show? At the time, I was working full time at, at the makeup counter at Fort Bliss. So it was terrible. Oh. And I was like, OK, like, hell yeah. Like, let's yeah, do from this. From makeup to having your own show. Porque no? yeah. yeah. 
and I had already done YouTube, so I mean, I'm yeah, was not afraid of the cameras or anything. And um, so yeah, we started it. I think like a month after that, or maybe like two, three weeks after that, and it just took off. It it went, it went really, really good. Yeah, while it I mean, it it looked really good. It was it was uh, produced really well. Yeah. Um, how many episodes did you end up doing? I don't even know how many episodes, but we did it for. I want Oye, to como say, que la Romy no se acuerda de mucho, I ¿verdad? Don't. I have like, the worst memory. Como que está peor que yo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's bad, bro. <laughs> Romy, <laughs> Romy. We need to have a competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah, we need to have a talk to I your husband, wor- man. No, really, he'll tell you. I am the. W- he'll be like, babe, do you remember <laughs> last year when we were at the park? And I'm like, huh? Uh, what park? <laughs> you must I be the other one. What? Oh, shit. Sancho? <laughs> no! Oh. He's telling him, like, oh, okay. that must be your other guy. I'm just joking. My bad. Oh, uh, that was with you? <laughs> Whoopsie. No, We're probably leaving her. Come I wonder how many times she left her kids in the car like, <laughs> at Ross and shit. Oh, yeah. Adentro, as she's in there, you know, shopping. <laughs> El Chihuahua. <laughs> Uh, I do I have the worst memory but I want to say it was like a year and a half that we did Cabecito with Romy yeah it was really really fun and I loved it um, I remember I saw your well I went on social media that you had Dario on there that was pretty cool yeah I yeah. had all the guys I had Dario I had Johnny Johnny I think was one of my first guests I had Dario Johnny Javi yeah they were oh, all on there that's cool El oh, yeah. Cage. yeah uh, you guys yeah, are all yeah. one big family that's pretty cool yeah cool. i love those guys oh yeah 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 speaking of so now you're you're over at 104.3 what is your role there so at 104.3 i'm the social media coordinator so i do their social media for 104 and for que buena their sister stations um so i do their social media so everything you see posted online from them that's me that's <laughs> yeah that's that's romy <laughs> yeah you know, yeah, that was her, dude. That That's her right there. Oh, well, that's Johnny, but I shared ah, it. Johnny. <laughs> but that was me. Morning mash. Aye, aye, Johnny's not even saying anything, dude. They're on break right there, huh? <laughs> you guys are on break. break right there. But that that's really cool. So also, you've been um you've been on air now lately, yes. right? Um, Congratulations, actually. Thank I you. think that's awesome. I think you sound great. I think Aww, y'all's you. chemistry is very awesome. Is um, it really? Oh, yeah, man. you know what? I've always liked um like a... Um, a, a, a woman on the show right but also mm-hmm. if they have a personality they could joke around as well and i mm-hmm. think you guys fit perfectly yeah i think it sounds really really good i have a great time in the morning with the guys so yeah i'm, I'm there now in the mornings for a bit and i love it are you gonna be on do you know if you're gonna be on or is uh, this just a, like temporary or well right now i'm guesting so fingers crossed that it is a temporary thing i know our ratings have gone up i mean she's on the takeover <laughs> show dog she's on the takeover show what do you expect <sighs> but yeah. from the world of podcasting to the radio how do you like see the evolving like, how do you like uh, it better it's, like it's weird so i like both See, on, on Cabecito with Romy, it was something similar to this, minus the mics, but we did have the lights, the cameras, and everything. Um, and then to the radio, it's just, it's crazy, because to me, it's like if the camera's not on, I feel like nobody's listening or watching, and then sometimes I'll, I'll say stuff, and then they're like, ah, oh, like you said such and such, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I did? Because I, like, black like, out. I black Mommy out. forgot me in the car and didn't take me to school. <laughs> It's just a regular day for you. Yeah, like I sometimes like I just feel like we're just all talking, sitting there, and I like black out. I forget that I say stuff. You even forget what you say, and I forget Um, that people are listening too. You know. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, we we kind of experienced that with uh, Iris and and over with uh, Buzz Adams, and I thought that was pretty cool too. You kind of get that feeling. You forget that you're on air. You know, and then next thing you know, mm. you're getting a letter from, you know, your boss saying, like, you can't be saying that shit. Dude. From the FCC. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, bro, yeah. you went a hey, little too hard. Yo, now. yeah, you're banned from now, dude. But, uh, like, don't talk about the Cowboys <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, speaking of the Cowboys, you're a Cowboy mm. fan, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, hopefully, Misa can bring this <gasps> post up. But did you do this post? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Was this before? Was this before this or after? Before I think that was the morning of the of the game. Yeah, the expectations were. Says you very know what high. time it is. Prendan la vela, and I fucking started laughing so hard. I'm like, no, seas. I thought it was uh, Dario and Cage that were up to this. One. You know, my dad does that. My dad, like, oh. right under his TV, he has this like little table, and then he'll put like a candle, a Cowboys candle, and he'll light it on. That's too cute. And he'll put like a very heavy chain, like a fake chain with a star, the oh, Cowboys yeah, yeah. star, and then like he the prays to it and <laughs> for real 
I don't know if he prays to it, but but I'm sure, uh, like in his mind, when he's passing by, he'll like say a little prayer. Yeah, yeah. he's like, "May the cowboy." That was yeah. the biggest deception. <laughs> <of the year. laughs> uh, you watched it. Uh, um, obviously, I think is your husband also a big yeah. cowboy fan. He um, is. He's a. He's been a cowboy fan since he was a kid. You see, I'm. I'm a new football girly. I barely started getting into football. Because of Taylor two Swift. Years. No, no, oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe okay. about two years ago because of my boys. <laughs> No. Ooh, who's your team? The Cowboys. Los Cowboys. Yeah, I like the oh, Cowboys. It's, <laughs> it's all right. He's a he's a Rams fan. So no, I was on that boat. We got yeah, eliminated yeah. too by one. It's all right. Look, all of our teams didn't make it. A, like we're you wouldn't even make it from the beginning. It's whatever. <laughs> the season's over, guys. <laughs> fucking get over next it. Next year's another story. Yeah, next fucking <laughs> maybe in the next lifetime. But dude. talking about football, you guys gonna get into that new league? That's pretty Which, cool. What new league? So if I'm correct, it's the United States. States Football League and the XFL merging for one big league. Oh, wow. And yeah, this whole previous 2023, they're releasing the name of the new teams. And the really? Cities. You know, See, I, I found it kind of weird. I found it kind of weird just because, like, we're used to seeing all these, like, NFL teams. So then you see all these other teams that are coming up. Like, I think I saw, like, Tar Heels or something like that. Huh? But you see... Like, their uniforms are just weird, uh-huh. you know, because you're not used to it. Yeah. But what I do like is that it's spring football, man. The league, the season starts during spring. Oh, wow. So, we really don't really get to miss all that much football. So, if you're really mm-hmm. into football, oh, yeah, and The Rock is a part owner of it, yeah, right? he's really? invested in it. So, a longer football season is what this is. More Dude. football, in other words. See, I well, I was saying, I'm just a, a new football girly. I just started liking it about two years ago. So my husband's always watched the game since he was a kid. He's always watching them. And I used to hate on the Cowboys. I would tease him about it for years. I'd be like, "Ah, let's go, girls. They lost again, you know, this big old thing at home. But we went to the stadium for Thanksgiving last year. Yeah, last year. And yeah, I, be- I was inducted into the. I was inducted. I was <laughs> jumped in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they got me. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they opened the gates, I had to go for my seats, fucker. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> no, I've seen yeah, those videos. Was, uh, no, we were you too busy. should have done tailgate. a TikTok. Should've well, just... we were in the parking lot getting interviewed by the Dallas News, and then out of our whole 20, 30 person family, they chose me. As a spokesperson, a like, ah, here, here, here. you <laughs> yeah, go yeah, say yeah. whatever they're going to ask you. And they're like, who are you here to see? And we're like, oh, Doug Prescott. Tony Romo. <laughs> <laughs> I just got baptized. <laughs> I'll talk to the camera. Yeah, I'm on chapter one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm new here. <laughs> I just yeah. got here. It's my That's, first day, guys. <laughs> I mean, and then are you guys, you and your husband being a cowboy fans, and then seeing them lose like this, does it create tension at home? Is it like, do you guys need some space or like, <laughs> or do you guys like actually cry to each other, like consult each other? How does that uh, happen? It was just sad, man. This Sunday, we were <laughs> did out, your kids cry? We were out, out, we were out of town. We were in Tucson and we were watching the game. We deliberately went to Buffalo Wild Wings to watch the game, and they're like the first quarter goes by, and I'm like, no, they they got this, <laughs> they got this, babe. Don't worry. <laughs> And then the second, and then halftime. And I'm like, after halftime, Mira, Dak's going to come back. He's going to come back strong. They're, they got mm. this. And he's like, I believe you, babe. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. You're always right. And then they lose. Bro. They I they lost. I, I blame you. You know what? Sometimes I'm kind of glad my wife doesn't watch football. So, like, because I feel like she's not going to want to, because I'm a Chargers fan. Mm-hmm. Right. So I feel like she's going to go to like Cowboy. <laughs> And then, like, there's just going to be tension in the house, dude, you know? And then my ass is going to be sleeping outside most of the time or something. <laughs> Did anyone burn anything in your family? No, Break no. Break a TV or anything? No, but, like, we walked out of the <coughs> Buffalo Wild Wings and we're like, with our gear, <laughs> with our hat and our, our jackets, and we're like, mm. <laughs> I put my shades on. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I, I'm starting to think we might not see the Cowboys win another Super Bowl in our lifetime. I don't know, bro. It's I don't just, know. It's funny, bro. It's I don't know. I'm a baseball girl, so nice. I'm just glad that the Rangers are still the only Texas champs for the for Damn me, I was about to ask. Who <laughs> Dude, we should, have, we should have an NFL team yeah. here. We should. I mean, we have we should, a bro. big city. It would go hard. We're bigger than Cleveland, bro. <laughs> and I what, would today, it be, what would our name be, though? I Los Chihuahuas. <laughs> Los Chihuahuitas. <laughs> Tampoco. <laughs> Los toxicos. I, I actually read today that from here, from San Antonio to, fuck, I can't remember this. I think it was Tucson. It's the um, FC Bravos from Juarez is the only pro team. Oh, I think so. From that to that. 
I think so. And it's insane because El Paso. No, dude, like, people don't even go to the UTIP game way. Well, because you're always true. losing too. Hmm. But locals do sell out. I'll give them that. Locals do have a crazy fan base. They I've, do. I've ne- and Chihuahuas. I've yes. never seen an empty game. I love like the that. Chihuahuas. Why don't they change the name f- from their Dallas Cowboys? They're not in Dallas anymore. I don't know. We should start it a sells. petition, dude. Maybe that's why they keep losing. <laughs> the Arlington Cowboys? Yeah, the Arlington <laughs> Cowboys, bro. Like, it's false advertisement. It's false right? advertisement. Right? Like, I go to Dallas to go watch the Dallas Cowboys and he's stand out you little ways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of, there's a fucking, uh, I think it snowed out there a lot too, no? Yeah, Dang. I wonder right? that yeah. Do you Do you like the cold? Do you like the snow? No. All, all, I like the snow for like an hour, but then it's like, yeah. Yeah, melt yeah. and go away because it's too cold. It makes my bones hurt. Ya soy, ya estoy señora. Como para la foto y lo ya. Ya estoy señora. Let me just make a TikTok real quick. Ya estoy señora. She's our age almost. No, mami. No, dude, yeah. It is. But you know what? I, I get colder now. Like, I used to love the cold. Even, like, in the winter, I'd have my fan on. Yeah, ahora I have to have my little heater on plus a house <laughs> heater. You, we're and then señoras I, and señores now. Double socks, you know? <laughs> but a no shirt. Yeah. You know, I look That's ridiculous it. going to the restroom at three in the morning. <laughs> but uh, nah, um, where was it? I think it was there. it was there at the Buffalo game. Um, how many feet of snow did they have out there, dude? I think it was like three that feet. Crazy. Turn it up on this one. Watch. Oh, it's just music. But um, right there it says at 10 p.m., bro. They pulled in the night before. Ooh. They, they hired, I think they paid twenty dollars an hour. It was twenty dollars in free food all stadium, if I'm correct. Really, six a.m. What? But and it was still falling hard. on there, dude. Damn. Just wait. Six eight and, and you know what? Eight. El Paso has the perfect weather to have a badass fucking team, dude. We it's do. just why don't we? But we, we suck, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to have them bring UTEP baseball back. That would be pretty That's cool. That's my actually. thing. Wait, UTEP doesn't have a baseball team? No. They have a softball they have team. Softball Wait, I didn't know this. I didn't even think yeah. about that, dude. And w- the talent here in, in El Paso is crazy. I mean, we've traveled with our son and we've seen it. And man, the, and you know what? Around here, baseball is a is a big thing. You have a lot of a lot of uh, uh, kids with a lot of potential, mm-hmm. especially how big it is in Mexico, like down here oh, in Juarez. Yeah. You'd be surprised how many people go out and play out there. Oh yeah. You play sports? No I baseball. Never a sport not, f- uh, not even football. Now that you're into it, <laughs> I Come played on. soccer like one summer when I was nine <laughs> because my cousin, my at the time, my my one of my cousins was playing for the Patriots, and I was like, "Oh, that's so cool! Like, I want to play soccer too." Mm-hmm. And his little brother, my my younger cousin, was playing soccer too, and I was like, "I want to play it," but no, Dude. I'm not coordinated for sports whatsoever. No. <laughs> wow, dude. She's like, "I'm gonna be an influencer when I grow up." I don't want to do this. <laughs> Fuck the ball. <laughs> yeah, I want to be on one four point three. I want to be with Johnny Cage. <laughs> Fuck no. Which, um, what are your plans? Um, um, are you going to continue, uh, obviously, to do like some of these uh, TikToks, or or what? What does your future look like? I yeah, that's my plan. I just don't have time right now because I'm running the station's Instagram. But no, yeah, that's that's totally my plan. Is just to keep doing TikTok. Jesus, truly, you gotta go somewhere or what, we? He's in a rush. Later, dude. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's out, sees. Yeah. Yeah, no. it's because we're shorthanded, guys. Um, we're actually gonna be looking out for some uh, some people that want to join the team. We need a little help here um, and there. Nice. I mean, I need a little help. Yeah. I need a little help out yeah, here. It's a lot. Um, it's a I'm lot over of here stuff. holding a cord. They have me holding a cord down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally not to move. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> um but uh going back to the whole tiktok thing um i think it'd be cool i mean it uh, is it is it easy once you get like those viral videos to kind of monetize your stuff you know what my i'm so upset speaking of monetizing i'm glad you you brought that up (laughs) (laughs) i speak in tiktok (laughs) 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 <laughs> it's because I kind of understood that one, you know. The Cardi B. I'm glad you brought that up. No, <laughs> <speak> I. <laughs> I speak in TikTok, and sometimes people are like, "What the fuck?" Is this girl? <laughs> Kiki? She works for 104.3, <laughs> <laughs> and she's so. Oh man, she's so terribly spoken. <laughs> 
what is that <laughs> no so my socials were monetized but freaking meta just decided to do away with all of that i don't know why but it was monetized. so now so now meta doesn't allow people to monetize their i mean they do but you have to get like the you know how on tiktok when you go live you get the gifts they have that but i mean who the heck is gonna like i right i've gotten like two of them that npc challenge <laughs> yeah <laughs> and for the roses <laughs> what else what else that that's it really like they have that monetized they have where you can put ads on your reels uh-huh. or your tiktoks on your reels on instagram and facebook but that one was taken away from me <laughs> Damn. Damn. she's got a it. violation oh, oh it's just, yeah it's man. terrible Everything's yeah. a violation. Look at Romy nowadays. getting in trouble, dude, yeah. on TikTok. She's a gangster <laughs> online, bro. <laughs> you don't know that. I'm a chola. <laughs> I'm a chola. <laughs> I bang online, fool. <laughs> uh, do you, I mean, uh, out of all the platforms, is that what you enjoy the most, the TikTok? I do. I yeah. love TikTok. It just, I feel like that's where I'm able to be myself the most, like yeah. just crazy and random Spear stuff. Yourself. Like, yeah. Everybody's like, always telling me, get your ass more on TikTok and. And the thing with me, dude, is like I already have enough dealing with my page mm-hmm. and then the, the pods page, and then it's a lot. And then uh, and then I fucking I get on, and next thing you know, I'm looking at fucking random ass videos, you know, yeah. instead of like planning to do a little video and shit. An hour goes by, you're like, oh, what the fuck. Yeah, an hour goes by, and I'm like, hala, my kids are in the car. <laughs> <laughs> my chihuahua. <laughs> That's how you forget. <laughs> That's how you forget things. Huh? I actually made a TikTok about that. Like the mom's just like, I think. I think the mom was scrolling and then and then the kid calls and they're like, Mom, where are you at? And they're like, Who's this? Oh. <laughs> you forgot me at school. Dude, there's Whoopsie. this funny one where there's this guy driving and then it says like when you when you forget your kid at the store but you're too far to turn around. Oh. And then he's like, Wilson <laughs> from Castaway. I'm sorry, Wilson. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> That's something that I would do, uh, and then come back and be like, "Ah, yeah, just kidding." Sorry, I was I'm testing you. Yeah. <laughs> In all funniness, like um, through your whole page, I went and I was like checking it out, and um, I got a couple of cool videos so we could pop them up. Yeah, yeah. pop them up. <laughs> Good. This one, this one had me laughing. Which one? <laughs> Let it load. Jesucristo. <laughs> Jesucristo. <laughs> 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 that's not me. <laughs> 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 i'm always interested to see like who what like what people think is funny so this one i saw oh, you you're funny. messing around with a hundred dollar bill on the studio mm-hmm. oh my god who was it where's <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> he got you I was like, uh, so i'm pretty sure he was your buddy buddy no oh, it's because that, that apparently that hundred dollar bill has been made its rounds around the oh. studio i was like they were both in it huh <laughs> there's a fake there's a fake hundred dollar bill yeah. that, that goes around at 104.3 guys it does i don't even know where it's at now look at him look at him ah, Javi. <laughs> is that Javi? no that's another javier no, it looks like Javi. that's our sales javier yes He's like, pensé que era el dinero del cliente. I like uh, how you edit this actually. <laughs> what? Oh. Who is it? And then it goes to. This is Johnny Poxit. <laughs> JK. Does Dario ever come out on here? No, where was Dario? I think he was in his office. Look, if you would have put a little bag of popcorn down there on the <laughs> I floor. I know, he would have fallen for that. De trap. volada, <laughs> dude. Wait. De volada. Without saying a word, too. <laughs> this one, too, that had me dying. Me, every day I go to the store. It's like. Oh, okay. Oh, it did go through. Oh, what is approved? <laughs> fuck. Oh, shit. When you're at the bar. Oh, like, oh, fuck. Shit, it passed. All right, dude. Give me one more. One more to go. <laughs> um, how long ago did you start doing the um, going on air at 104.3? 
Um, so I started, I want to say they started pulling me like around September, August, September. Telling you, my memory is the worst. But I know I for know, a dude. fact, for sure, by Halloween, I was already. <laughs> <laughs> dude, damn, we should have. And I forgot my notes, dude. So <sighs> I couldn't, I can't be looking back and be like, well, she didn't know this one. <laughs> Scratch that one off, dude. That's no, good. I know by, by Halloween, I was I was already a, a for sure guest. So, and are, yeah. is the is station looking for like a third um, voice in there? Or are they just kind of like trying things out or what so they were um and well johnny knows that i that's my dream like my my dream really was to work at 104 like it really was yeah. <laughs> so when i started i told him and he's like really and i was like yeah he's like all right so back then i was still doing the social media just social media and um thanks to johnny so i owe my life to johnny like literally he's shout like, out to johnny Ooh. cage <laughs> i got a johnny cage button right here look <laughs> every time i play that shit dude it's like johnny cage where's johnny at <laughs> that's no, cool so, so he helped out a lot he he put in the he word did. for you he he's been to this day he's still fighting tooth and nail to get me on full time that's um, nice. so i i owe my life literally to johnny i should um, talk to johnny and be like yo this is my dream too <laughs> <laughs> hey no hey, what about me dude <laughs> You know um, what? Javi's too short, bro. Kick him off. <laughs> uh, there is another mic in the DJ booth. I'm just yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I really do. I owe it out to to Johnny. He's been fighting for me to be on, and and we love it. I love it. We've seen the response. It's been great. No, I, I'm <laughs> telling you. In the mornings, you know, when I get to hear you guys, I, I like the chemistry. I like um, Thanks. I like the stuff that you guys talk about. Um, and it's funny. I think that's what I'm, I think that's what makes it great. Mm -hmm. Um, because a lot, of, especially like when when you see news here in El Paso, a lot of it is always bad news. You yeah, know, with a drunk driver, yeah. with a drunk driver and stuff like that. But oh, yeah. um, really that's why that's why having a morning show like that. You know, you 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 do what uh. I call it the Romy effect, right? Wow, like when you listen, that? when you listen to the to the morning the show Romy with you guys, effect. you forget all the bad shit that happened <laughs> the day before. Yeah, no, you just really. forget because Romy doesn't remember. Yeah, Is that the Romy? <laughs> yeah, the Romy effect. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like dory <laughs> like, i think it, it, it seems like romy has like that device from the from the uh, men in black and she like <laughs> push off like every day selfie <laughs> it's like every time she records new day new me <laughs> you know <laughs> uh that'd be a cool device to have dude it's the selfies <laughs> hello it's not, not al revés <laughs> Gets herself all the time. <laughs> that's funny, dude. When she takes a selfie in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but would you ever go back to uh, doing like uh, that that uh, cafecito with with uh, Romy again? Oh yeah, like totally. I loved. I loved it. Like that's where my whole creativity just like psh, was out. Um, I yeah, for sure. I would. I actually started my podcast after that was over. But it's hard. Like, it's hard to podcast. My podcast was Cheeseman with Romy. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, Cheeseman. With, it's still there. I mean, I still have my, my sounds on Spotify and everything, but it's tough. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah, and I was trying to do it every single Wednesday, I think it was. But no, well, then I started at 104 and just, yeah. No. Yeah, you get busy and stuff like that, but I'm not in time. Mira, mira cómo se la pasa 104. Oh, I don't want to yeah. see. She's over here hiding fake money. Come on, Chewy. <laughs> I thought you that had this set up already. It's the internet. I bought that. Oh. Esta otra vez? Cierra el refri. It's not that one, but goddamn. Um. Is it just me or is it a lot hotter this year? It is hot. Like it's not even cold, cold. Like, it, like one day it'd be like super cold. Y lo de Nobody's gonna know. Oh, <laughs> this one's funny. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Okay, Cage. <laughs> How would they know? He's a great actor. <laughs> How would they know? <laughs> How would they know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nobody's gonna like Coca Cola. Is that, is that what they had to make? <laughs> so, <coughs> so I decided to set up a Christmas tree at every station. 
And I was like, well, something's missing, you know, after the decorations that they had there from Mm -hmm. like 20 years ago. (laughs) And I was like, it's missing something on each tree. And I was like, you know what? Let's print out a 104.3 logo and a Que Buena logo and post and put them on the trees. But I was like, oh, that's too flimsy. Like the other paper. There's no laminate paper thingy or anything. So I was like, hmm, we had a bunch of Coke. Uh, because <laughs> we had a bunch of coke empty, empty cases because no we were doing the coca-cola promotion during christmas and i was like can i get one of those coca-cola <laughs> <laughs> so i was like problem solved oh, uh, and johnny She's cage in this video is like can i put it in a word in for this girl <laughs> <laughs> and i decided to do that tiktok because he's like hey Romy, do you mind if my barber if i give one of the signs to the barber and i was like yeah for sure I said, just tell him not to flip it over. And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, look. And he's like, oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to El Paso. It's one of a kind. Uh, These these look very fun. We should definitely collab and make some funny ass. (laughs) We should. Um, She would be fun. Me and uh, Chewy are planning to... To go and do some uh some like food reviews at restaurants or like bars, you know? So we want to take some... um, some guests that we've had on the show so if you're Sign interested we'll go food. yeah and uh, Same. we'll go figure it out and then i want i want to i want to record some um some of these funny videos we'll come up with something funny yeah i always try i always come up with something and then like i'll find like a sound mm-hmm. and i'll save it because i'll have an idea and then mm-hmm. like two weeks later i'm going through my sounds which is like oh like hundreds and then i'll yeah. click on it and i was like why did I save this shit for? You know, the Romy effect. It's <laughs> dope. <laughs> I actually wanted to show you one of her clips, bro. See if you relate to this. And <laughs> What's it say? When you get home, what? When at you the get wrong home time? At the wrong time. She's like, oh. <laughs> uh, She's like, yeah. Oh, never mind. Fuck that. I'm out of here. She's like, who are you guys? Uh, never mind. How many, uh, how many children do you have? How many children? Yes. I have three. Three yeah, kids. I have three kids. Wow. I have three with Chewy. Chewy's yeah, my third kid. Three kids with Chewy. Facts. Because this is my third. El tercero. El tercero. <laughs> y el que chinga más. El que se porta más mal. <laughs> el regret. Uh, the regret. The regret. <laughs> the one I didn't know the about until one. a year and a half ago. <laughs> After pandemic, uh, I was hungry, you know? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, no, I have my three kids. Natalia, so shout out to my kids. Natalia, Victor, and Sebastian. Sebas. Oh, nice. oh you got your Sebastian. My son's name yeah. is Sebastian. Really? Yeah. yeah. Sebastian Power. My Sebas, man. He's something else. <laughs> they fight for the TV or what do they fight for? The tablet? No, my kids are all. Well, my daughter's 19, so she's already at UTEP. She oh, should be graduating this December. That's that cool. I do know. <laughs> <laughs> and Victor's 15, and then Sebastian is 9. So my boys. All of my kids, they were busy with sports, but my daughter was doing cheer in high school, middle school, high school, but she's graduated already. So Does that make you sad? She's done. Are you going to cry? No, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I put 20 on it, she's going to cry. <laughs> my and niece, then, Gally, she graduated from uh, nursing school, and uh, we went, man. You don't know how oh, many parents I saw crying. Dude, yeah. This shit was annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. The first one I'm just kidding. <laughs> So like, to- <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> you want to cry for real? She said she's going back to school. <laughs> she hasn't even finished her master's, sir. <laughs> All t- college tuition? <laughs> it's expensive. For what? For you to do TikTok? Oh. <laughs> Did you do? Well, you ended up, you, you have a degree, right? Do you? I don't. Wow. Oh, look at where you're at now, dude. Her. You see, I kids? Don't, yeah. You don't yeah. have to go to school. But at least try. Do we really want try. To do that? Yeah, I, was, I didn't even know what to say. I was like, you know, what? school. You know, I used to say schools uh, for fools. Schools are for fools. Schools for fools. And then, like, after listening to myself saying that all these years, I was like, bro, I'm the fucking fool. <laughs> I'm on YouTube researching so I shit. Up, yeah, I ended on up YouTube <laughs> University. <laughs> no, I actually. Fun story. So I was going back to school. I had gone back to school because I wanted to be on the radio. I wanted to do communication, so I went back for communications and public relations. And a year after doing that, then that's when I got into the studio, into the station, and I was like, Pus ya pa qué? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just I kidding. mean, sometimes it's just loud. No, I in just your couldn't. It was, yeah, I started off as part time at 104, and then I eventually grew, 
grew up into full time. Now I live there. I sleep there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just yeah. Kidding. I mean, you spend a lot, a, a lot of time there, right? I like do. All day, I'm much? there from like eight to five, like literally all day. All day. Yeah. I, so yeah, I was uh, wondering if we could stop by and hook you up with some chamoy candies because honestly, oh, I've been yeah, busy all week, chamoy. so I have no inventory. So I would love to bring yes. you a little kit and everything. Totally, cool. totally. Dude, you yeah. know what? We should put like a like like a Mexican money on the floor. I si alguien se lo lleva. Unos pesitos ahí. <laughs> Unos pesitos ahí. Un mil quinientos. If you know if you know where that's uh, from, you know. No, true. You know what you should do, bro, with your stuff, with your duchies. We'll leave like a like a, 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 a cup, a corn on a cup, somewhere like randomly. <laughs> Preparado y todo, bro. <laughs> And then put a, an invisible string on it and just kind of pull it. <laughs> or like leave little trails of popcorn for Dario. Yeah. For Dario. <laughs> All different flavors. <sighs> Another one. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yo, I'm making oh, Dario. Bro. That wasn't me, dude. That was this guy. But I got you on some popcorn too, my boy. <laughs> but um, uh, speaking of Chewy, uh, do we have any cheesemas today? I do. Ooh. And it's going to be cheesemas that we didn't get to cover last time. So welcome, guys. Some fucking cheesemas with my yep. with my homegirl and my boy Misa. Um, this one's gonna be girl related because okay. I've seen everybody, well, female wise, going crazy for this. Misa's what doing is, his dance moves. Over. I just fucking love this jam, dude. <laughs> what she is goes your hard. thoughts on these Stanley Cups right now? Oh, they're annoying. You, you own yeah, some? I do own one. <laughs> I own one. Stanley. Sell them, girl. Can I get like millions of it? Oh, like that Stanley like, Cup. Yeah, that kidding. Stanley Cup. The like Tumblr. The, the yeah, Stanley Cup. It's too much. What's um what's so um popular about these? Oh my god. That's <laughs> what's so popular. Is that about over them? the fucking it's so, so really hopefully? Cool. And look, people are donating <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok Live. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know. I, I personally I love Yetis. I'm a Yeti girl. Sorry. That's what I was gonna ask. What's the difference? Is Stanley the new wave, or I guess because they have the colors now? But Yeti has pink and purple yeah, too. Yeah, Yeti like, has so much stuff, man. Like I don't get yeah. it. And they have different variations. Like they have the biggest one, the little one, the you, little cup. Like I, I saw don't get it. a video of this little girl. Like it was Telemundo, I think, and they're like, "What do you want?" And she's like, "Un Stanley cup." Oh, quieres un NHL cup? It is hockey player. Yeah, hockey player. <laughs> and then she like left, and then she like had to make a TikTok to like oh tell people God. how how like she didn't know what the trends were, bro. And the little girl's just looking at her like, ¿Qué pendeja, yo quiero un vaso, güey. She's like, "Vamos." <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Um, <laughs> a few years ago, when when all these tumblers started going viral and people started carrying them around, I was mm -hmm. all like, I don't get it. People have water bottles and shit, right? Like disposable mm -hmm. ones. So I was like, you know what? Let me jump on this trend. I don't know what's cool about it. But dude, after losing like three or four of them, mm -hmm. I was like, why? I was not used to carrying a cup yeah, and then always remembering like, hey, you know, bring your cup with you. And yeah. to this day, when I see somebody, you know, like Chewy over here with his fucking cup and shit. <laughs> I was like, dude, why? Mil quinientos. Because, I don't know, bro. Um, I've seen my friends show up to parties with, like, the the beer ones. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell? But they're holding on to it the whole night, and I grab it, and it's, like, nice and cool. Yeah, like, it stays cool. But the Yetis do the same thing, so I don't I don't know. Yeah. I could go to Ross and get, like, a $5 one. Mm -hmm. you know, really? Work the same, dude. Oops. Yeah. It'll have, like, little hearts in it and everything. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no Starbucks on it, but it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Another one I want to get on to, um, pop culture-wise, there's been a list going on that was, uh, I guess, put on blast mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year, and it's called the Epstein List. Ooh, we're going there. We're going there. <laughs> there's a little video I saw on TikTok I would like to post up right here, guys. The bombshell Jeffrey Epstein List has been revealed. Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, Professor Stephen Hawking, <laughs> and Copperfield are amongst the high-profile figures who have been named in the newly <laughs> U.S. court documents. You should see the one I sent Johnny. Oh, oh my today. God. You should send it right now. <laughs> That's so fun. That's, I mean, it's not funny, right? But it's just... Like, I mean, the memes that came out of this shit, dude. <laughs> like, the, the internet just, has no chill, they, dog. They just... They have nothing else to do. No respect. Rolling, bro. Oh my God, the Stephen Hawkins one, dude! <laughs> like, holy shit! What is it? Apparently, you want to tell that one? Go for it, dude. I, I, mean, I don't know the full facts on it. That's why, but I do remember they said that he more or less liked them. Um, well, the thing, what I remember <laughs> is that they found an email where Epstein had sent to that Maxwell chick, mm -hmm. 
trying to tell him to like, hey, let's let's find a way to hide the fact that fucking Stephen Hawkins was with the fucking having an orgy with younger age chicks. Ooh, it's nasty. Like, what happened? Like, you're nasty. It's a little, yeah. Do a little spin. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that midget ass, please. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> and then you just Can somebody please turn me around? <laughs> <laughs> a little squish. <laughs> squish. Mm, that's oh, nice. I want to jump out of that one, bro. Oh, oh, I'm going to another cringier one. No, oh. dude, I mean, bro, he. Okay, now let's move on. You sure? Yeah, let's move on, dude. You sure? Yeah, dude. Another one. I'm going to have a dream of this dude. What's going watch. on on everybody's platform right now with this girl, Gypsy Rose Blanchard? <laughs> Oh, what do I think about Gypsy Rose? Have you heard what's going oh, on? Oh yeah, or? totally. So, so I've been uh huh. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead. For those ahead. that don't know, like, <laughs> um, I got a little clip too. Do you know uh? Do you know the story about her? Murder in twenty. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a Missouri teen convicted of orchestrating her medically abusive mom's murder in 2015, is set to be freed from prison today after serving eight years behind bars. Blanchard, now 32, was the subject of a bizarre media frenzy that spawned numerous documentaries and a Hulu series after she ordered her online boyfriend, Nicholas Gottajan, to stab her 48-year-old mother, Claudine Dee Dee Blanchard, to death. The teen is believed to have suffered one of the highest profile cases of Munchausen syndrome, where her mom's insistence that she suffered various made-up illnesses, led her to undergo painful surgeries and take medications with adverse side effects. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. That is fucked up, dude. Yeah. You want to explain it in your totally. words, bro? Porque no le me entendí, <laughs> You're the one that picked the story, this guy. He picked the story so for us. So that's why I brought it up, it. because I want someone to explain ah, what, what the I'm fuck is really time. going on. <laughs> Oh my Can you explain God. it to us? Oh, oh. You want me to explain yeah, it to you? Yeah, because this is a bombshell. Like, I've seen it everywhere. <laughs> it's a right? bombshell. And I'm it's like, just like, wait, a, did a, she two weeks fucking old kill wait. this it's vato? Like, did she sleep? Like now she's sleeping yeah. with a new vato? Well, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. was. The vato looks like his mom, like her mom, too. It's crazy. He does. Like a lot. Yeah, it's weird. So the story with Gypsy Rose goes that she and her mom moved from Louisiana. The mom claimed that all of her medical paperwork was lost during Hurricane Katrina. So when they moved, I think they moved to Kansas, if I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. But um, when they moved there, so she's like, ay, mija, pobrecita. Like, she can't walk. She has you know, she has a uh, leukemia. She uh-huh. has all kinds of stuff. Uh, Which are so obviously lies, right? Dude, she, like, Habitat. she shaved her head and yeah, stuff like it that. it was wild. So Habitat for Humanity built them a home, and that's the home that they were living in forever until this happened. And the girl, as she got older, oh, the mom was trying to keep her, like, infantile-like. So childlike, like she yeah. wouldn't tell her her real age. She kept her like just kind of like tontita, you know. Mm-hmm. And so the girl found out little by little. I don't know how that she could walk, and she found out that she was not twelve. Sick, she yeah. was actually like eighteen, and so she it. snapped out of yeah, it. She snapped out of it, and oh, then shit. she met this one guy online, which is the one that ends up unaliving the mom. And she kind of, I don't know. See, this is where I get a little conflicted because I feel like. She does have a big part in the mom's unaliving because she convinced the guy to do right. it. So she, but she's like, now she wants to clean her hands. Like, ah, like no I didn't do it, but like, you know, it was my idea, but I didn't do it. So that's why I'm free. Isn't that the same thing as like cyberbullying? Like when you put, you say something and then they end up doing it, they kill themselves. Well, it becomes like not, manslaughter. It's or not your, right? it's not like a severe, it's, it's like, crazy. It's, it's not your fault because they killed themselves, but you initiated the fucking with words. So yeah. the eight years that she it's was weird. in there was like the time that she served that they gave her for the murder or. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? That I don't know. I think she was out for good behavior. Like I really, I, that I don't know, but I know the guy is serving life because he's the one that actually did it. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's fucking crazy. But I just think it's so wild how they're like trying to like, make her into an influencer celebrity and it's like yeah yeah like she's people out are, yeah. people are yeah. hung on like the fact that like her what her mom did to her because it was pretty horrific it was messed I mean, up yeah it she was. would take these medicines that would like make her so teeth fall out and for like, a while. yeah yeah she was taking stuff that she wasn't supposed to you know yeah. so it was messing her body up but um she was she got all these unnecessary surgeries because the mom like insisted that she had all kinds of diseases and stuff going on with her. it is messed up but i don't know i just don't like the way they're kind of making her into a, a celebrity yeah, yeah like it's wild yeah, yeah dude yeah 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 dude yeah 
Like murder is not okay. It's, it's not, not okay, dude. No. Hey, didn't uh, what's her name? Speaking of murderers and fucking leaving prison, didn't the uh, lady that killed the uh, Selena is out free now too? No. No. Oh, yeah, knock no? on wood. No, I think she's up for parole. Wait, I could have sworn she. Can you search that? Yeah. yeah. I could have sworn that that uh, she was getting out or that she got out or some shit like that. Nah, she's up for parole, but I don't think they'll grant it. She's in there for life, really. Cadena perpetua. <laughs> I was about to ask just in case, but bro, I hear the the name Yolanda, and I was just like, I hate that bitch. I don't even know who you're talking about, but don't fucking name that. Yeah. Um, I saw actually a, a meme this morning, um, that had a picture of of that lady and Dak Prescott, and it says like, who do you hate the most? Oh no, mames. <laughs> That's yes. hilarious. I can't seem to find her. Um, no, she's probably but, still dude. I'll yeah, take the no, word for it. she's still in there. Um, but that's crazy, yeah. man. That's I mean, it, it it tells you what like what these whole social medias can create. You know, I mean, you you <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Monster, eres el diablo, <laughs> cabrón. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, <laughs> one more one more time, Romy. Can you please let everybody know where they could follow you and uh, yeah. watch all these fun videos? Totally. So I am on TikTok, on Instagram as at Romy Aide. That's R-O-M-Y-A-Y-D-E. And uh, Facebook too. I'm Romy Aide Hernandez. Hernandez. There's a lot of Hernandez around there. That's my brother's there last is. name. And my mom's last name. A and my lot. stepdad's last name. So madre. Everybody's last name. They're all really? they're all related somehow. Probably. I know. I bet we are. Because yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fucking. Isn't that like Spaniard? Right. It's like a Spaniard last name. Hernandez. It is. It is. <sighs> Conquistador. <Spain. laughs> Conquistador. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go around this table. We're gonna give our last words. Uh, starting with a boy, cha 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 chui. The final word, Stuggy. Romy, thank you for sliding through, taking time of your day, your busy sketch your schedule and everything um big fan of tiktok keep doing your thing like thank you making us laugh and everything putting a pass on the map and just thank you for sliding with us and having a good time with us oh thank you guys wow chewy fuck dude <laughs> your last words are always the best ones for you sure. should leave them for less yeah <laughs> maybe he, that's all he should say from here on out just to find the words the guess anyways romy final words please uh, my final words. Oh man, let me see. What do I remember? I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> what what are you? What did I say in this podcast? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, thank you guys for having me on. It's a pleasure. I, I love doing podcasts. I it, I love it, and I appreciate you guys inviting me. I I really do. Thank oh, you thank for you. thinking of. Thank you for thinking of me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, Romy, for uh, taking the time. Like Chuy said, I know you're very busy. Um, like I said, whenever you get a chance, let's let's create some yeah, content totally, together. Totally. Uh, maybe I'm we'll down. go visit you again at the at the radio station. You got to. But uh, everybody listening, guys, episode number twenty one in the books. You guys, please make sure you guys are following, subscribing, liking, and sharing. As always, guys, we come out with brand new episodes every single week. Please make sure you guys are following us on all platforms. And uh, follow our girl, Romy, here if you're not already. You probably are. I mean, look at all those followers just got, dude. 68.2 thousand followers. Where did they come from? <laughs> Who are they? Who are you people? But, uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, you guys make sure to stay safe. All right. Love each other. And...